Namaste everyone, thank you for joining me today for my practice, Pitta Dosha. Pitta arises from fire, so I'm looking today to cool down our practice by taking more fluid movement and take longer poses after the flow. So we'll go slow, we'll come more um, into idea of nurturing and relaxation. We do not want to create internal heat, we want to cool down. So taking any sitting on your mat, maybe sitting on uh, to the mat free or maybe using a yoga block. Take your hands on your knees and tune into your breathing. We'll take inhale through the nose and making longer exhalation through the nose. Exhalation will cool down, inhale will warm up. So we want to cool down the practice by taking long exhale. If you've been practicing uh, shitali, cooling breathing, you can roll your tongue and you breathe through the tongue, close the mouth and exhale through the nose a few times. If this is not available for you, you can clench the teeth and do the same thing. Remember, this is a practice for everyone, so do what you can do if you want to take one hand on your chest one on your belly and just notice the movement of the body when you're breathing in and breathe out we'll keep today the gaze horizontal and the back of the neck long and the chin parallel with the floor taking few more breathing and when you're ready, release the hands down. I'm moving the head to one side to another, create gentle circles uh, and releasing the tension into the neck. Extend your arms up. We'll twist to the left side, but this time we're moving the same, moving the hands up to the right. So we'll take a few more movements like this, a little bit fast with breathing in and breathe out when you extend your hands up. Exhale, twist. Breathe in, extend your arms up. Exhale, twist. Carry on a few more times like this. And rotate the shoulders back. Take some rotation on the shoulders forward. Now, place a block away if you're sitting on a block. <clears throat> Settle in free into your mat. And extend the right fingertips into the mat and extend the left arms up. You look breathing in, looking on the fingertips and now twist to one side, to the right and take the left fingers back and moving the right arms up, moving to another. So we'll do the same few more movement. You can make it eight times, 10 times, moving to one side to another. We'll get nice, prepare the shoulders. This flow is also very good for creating uh, more space into the shoulders, awaking the shoulders area, the back of the neck, the chest, arms. And when you're ready, come back, find interrogating your fingers, push the uh, fingers forward, curve the spine, bring the chin into the chest. We breathe in, extend the arms up, and again, exhale, move forward. Now, moving the spine, we prepare the spine, extend the arms up, move the hands forward, and take a few more times like this. You can Keep your um, gaze forward. And take a few more times like this. Extend your arms up and go a little bit deeper into the side body by taking some rotation in the body. So just creating some circles in the sky in one direction and take the rotation on the other side. We warm up tiny bit the body, not to set, not to want to create too much heat. Move the head to one side or another, just enough to get the body movement. Move the shoulders into your ears, relax the shoulders down. Extend your hands down, take the right arms underneath to the left, lift your elbows up. Move the head to one side, to the center, to the other. Just a few more times, maybe two, maybe three. Come to the center and now switch sides. Take the left underneath to the right. Lift your elbows up. And again, moving the head to one side to another. Mm. 
make the um, time to move into tabletop from tabletop we'll start to create some shapes uh, into first child pose tuck in the toes and start to extend your hands all the way forward stretch your arms all the way forward leave the crown of your head down and take a moment to relax grounding notice how you feel into your breathing notice how you feel into your shoulders and notice how you breathe rolling forward walk your hands closer to your knees maybe the wrist under the shoulders leave the right leg back point the toes and now we're bringing closer eight times bring the knee to the chest and just bouncing the knee bounce the knee next and do the same quite similar movement when we did into the arms now we're moving to the legs and moving to the left side so standing back eight times bring the knee and just moving just feeling your hips moving nice and easy And just settle in, come back into the center, extend the right leg to the side, and now dive forward, extend the arms to the side, and get a nice stretch into the inside of the right leg. Push the shoulders away from your ears, and just placing the fingers to touch the mat. Walk your hands to your mat lift the upper body up and again bring the right knee back extend the left leg to the side and again maybe send the hip bones back to the heel and extend the arms back if you anytime you want to stay more into the poses you can pause the video and spend more times in each pose walk the hands back to the center lift your upper body up bring the knees together tuck in the toes breathing in curving the spine and moving into first down dog first down dog will be in movement by bend one leg bend another getting loose any movement organic movement the body will like now and now lifting the heels up taking many steps you want gentle start to tiptoes all the legs between your arms between your hands coming to the front of your mat leave your head down take a fourfold first bend your knees breathe in extend your arms all the way up breathe out bend the knees and swap the mat breathing in extend your hands up breathe out find your mat breathe in extend your hands all the way up find the fingers behind interrogating the fingers behind of the body and pushing back maybe bending tiny bit your elbows and pushing into the mini back bend stretching the front body and exhale dive forward when you dive forward lift the hands down into your mouth step this time the left leg back place the left knee down framing the front leg tuck in the back toes and extend the hands up now moving here can a nice rotation into your shoulders and take eight times a good nice rotation move the chest forward lift your body up stay with your nice gentle breathing just notice this movement this energy you create with this practice lift up let's say you can take eight times you can take ten times depending how you feel place your hands into the preposition we'll prepare to lengthen the spine with exhale we'll twist to the right side we'll push the shoulders away it's looking nice release the hands down lift the back leg up and step forward bend your elbows find your elbows and just really let it go just not any uh, alignment any things you need to worry about bend your knees extend your arms up and exhale find your mat breathing in extend your hands up breathe out finding the mat last time extend your hands all the way up 
find the fingers, interlock the fingers, and again preparing to get a nice, nice open chest. Opening the chest and diving the body all the way forward. Take the fingers down into the mat, lengthening the crown of the head, send back the other leg. So we'll send back this time the right knee down, left leg is forward, tucking the toes, and do the same thing. Settle in, eight times you'll take a nice rotation into the shoulders, breathing in, extend up, and just moving nice and smooth here. Just keep your gaze horizontal. Taking few more movements. Remember, if you take the same number of movements, if you can, now place your hands into the preposition. We twist this time to the other side. So I'm placing the right elbows on top to the left knee. Push the hands into the preposition. Drop the shoulders away. Look down. Place your hands in framing the front leg. Step here back into your plank. Place the knee down, and now we we'll come back into. Uh, child pose will take any variation so today we'll play with a variation of child pose maybe place the elbows on the block place the palms preposition and dive down into the mat in maybe leave the crown of the head into the mat notice your energy into your back into your shoulders into your spine if you have enough place your hands and move up Place the block away from your mat if you have it there. We'll settle now into the puppy pose. Leave the hip bones up, the hip bones on top of the knees. Extend your arms all the way forward. Leave your chest closer to the mat and just notice how you feel. If you have more practice, the chin can touch the mat or maybe the crown of the head. Walk our hands back into the tabletop position, curving the spine, engaging the core, and now lift your knees up into your down dog. From down dog here, you can bend your legs. Just let it go loose here. Take the right leg up, bring the knee to the chest, stepping between your hands. Place the back heel down and roll here. We'll open into warrior two. By sending the left, arms back or right arms forward now settle in bend the left arms behind of your body switching the right arms up come back into peaceful warrior and we're moving back into warrior two bend the right arms on top to the right and moving up we're moving this time eight times six times just getting movement into the upper body stabilizing your legs you can uh, get a little bit softer and if you want to take it easier the practice the distance between the legs will be a little bit more shorter if you want a little bit more into your practice and you might take a big space if you want to settle for the um, one more no long inhale here into the side ankle pose look down extend your arms and then bring your sole of the fist parallel point in the left toes and prepare to move into triangle pose to the left leg breathing in breathe out lift the body up and again moving few times like this moving up and forth maybe you could be in coordinate with the breathing maybe you can take slower maybe take uh, just few times like this this is an example in time you want to stop and pause the video please do just follow and take it easier now bend in the front leg well mill the palms down into the mat framing the left leg leave the right arms down and extend the left arms up in the sky Breathing in, breathe out, look down, place the hands down and shoot back into plank. From the plank, we place the knee down and we'll shuffle back into child pose. 
any variation again for this child pose i choose to lift the wrist up and just uh, sparkle the fingers into the mat and feeling the even deeper activation into the arms just let it go notice how you feel roll the body forward place the hands under the shoulders curve in the spine engage the core and start to lift up into the down dog now from here moving on left leg is up bend his legs stuck the hip bring into the chest stepping between your hands settle into warrior two send here the arms into warrior two so the left arm is forward again moving the same bending in the arms behind and moving into peaceful warrior transition warrior two and moving back and forward just maybe with the same amount of movement you did on the right side we carry on to the left to create balance into the body maybe taking like say six times eight times depending how you did on the right side And take a moment in uh, the last pose look down extend the front leg bring both legs parallel each other and pivoting this time the right toes so moving the same here into triangle pose diving into the front leg and you lift up and again moving the same amount i said for my practice eight times I'm stabilizing the hips there will be a little bit of movement into the hips not a lot just enough to create some a little bit of um, transition and then when you're ready you can bend the front leg framing this time the right leg leave uh, the left arm up and extend the right arm up place the hands down shoot back into plank place the knee down and again any transition any variation back into child pose i'm moving again the block maybe if you don't have block you can place the elbows free into your mat place a head between your elbows place the hands into the preposition and dive the chest down just let it go allow yourself to be rather to do and again maybe you reconnect with your cooling breathing maybe you take longer exhalation we clench the teeth and it's breathing through the mouth and exhale through the nose just let it go like i said we'll take longer poses after the flow time to don't create heat we actually we will need to cool down when you're ready you can plant the palms back into the mat take the block away tuck in the toes curve in the spine and now lift your knees up into down dog lift your heels take many steps walking forward and walk your hands closer to your legs and now we maybe taking a four four hook in the big toes and dive forward leave the knees bend or maybe extend bend the knees and just place your fingers behind to open your chest up here we are coming into balancing poses so settle in into your mat and find your elbows on the back or if you practice palms back to back you can place your palms back to back wrist touching elbows to the side settle here or moving gently into the um, three pose bend the right leg and take the sole of the feet on your calves breathing in and move the knee forward move the knee to the side move the knee forward and to the side move the knee forward to the side breathing in and take long exhale place the right leg down and moving to the other side the same thing 
the same transition three times, bring the knee forward and moving to the side. Leave the right leg, leave the legs back, walking on the front of your mat. Settle in here if you have your elbows touching your elbows or maybe the hands back to back, just creating a little mini back bend again and dive forward. Release the palms down into the mat, lengthening with the crown of your head. Bend the knees and walk the leave, roll your body back. Finding your knees into the chest and just rolling gentle to one side to another. Not taking any movement you want, leave your sole of your feet into the mat, leave your palm facing up and moving the knees to one side to another. Take a nice breathing in and nice breath out. Place your hands underneath of the knees, rolling forward. And coming on to the sitting and the type of sitting. So come in, tuck in the toes, lift up, settle in. If you want to place your block between your ankles, please do. Any variation, you can stay here into this hero pose. And that is enough for you. You're feeling the top of the legs and the knees start to stretch. If you have in your practice to uh, roll back, you might place the block away and start to roll back. Place the elbows down into the mat. Create a mini back bend here, maybe the crown of the head. And this is enough for you. Stay here. And if you want to place the crown of the head down and create a little back bend. Avoid to lift your knees up. Leave the knees to touching, and if you feel the knees lift up, you just leave the pose. Stretch the front body. Once stay long here, we place the hands down. You lift your body up, extend your hands over the head. Find your elbows on the back, and again, create a little variation of camel pose briefly. And you just come back into the mat. Extend your legs, extend here into mini shavasana. Take inhale through the nose and making longer exhales through the nose. We're moving now to some variation of bridge poses. Bending here, lift the sole of the feet into your mat, bring the heels a little bit closer to your sit bones. Settle in, and when you're ready, extend the pelvis hands over the head, pelvis up, and release the hands down, pelvis down. Breathing in, extend the up and down. Nice movement. Again, breathing in, lift up, breathe out, release down. Breathing in, extend your arms, breathe out, release down. Again, breathing in, lift up, breathe out, release down. Pushing in your sole of your feet. And settle in, moving the knees, leave the bum down, move the knees to one side to another, getting any movement you want here. Coming back into uh, second time, maybe interlock the fingers this time and push up. If this is not available for you, you can just take it easy by placing the sacrum on the yoga block, avoid to placing under the spine and lift up. Avoid twisting the head, so head look forward, chin into the chest and relax down. Take a moment here. Maybe moving the knees again to one side to another. Settle in here, leaving the knees to touching, sole of the feet maybe on the mat or maybe outside. And we'll again tune back into the breathing. by taking inhale through the nose and longer exhale through the nose. Maybe now to cool down. 
again inhale and long exhale you can flip your palms under the ear next to your ears pushing in your hands from here to push all the body into Urdha Dhanurasana or the wheel you start to push your body up pushing the sternum forward and just really stay here a few more breathing to opening the front body and get all this um, back bend very gentle placing the crown of your head down into the mat ah, relax the body down when you're ready grab the knees into your chest move the knees to the right side hands and twist to the left maybe close your eyes move the knees to the center moving to the other hands moving to the other side come back into the center moving again the knees if you want to one side to another You can take the right arms underneath to the left, move the knees to stack to the right side, and if you have a little bit more um, um, flexibility and you can feel right, you can place the right ankle on top to the left knee and get a nice stretch for the final of our class. Unwrap your hands, unwrap your legs twist the left underneath to the right move the knees to the left side and if again if you have the possibility to place the left ankle on top to the right knee and just squaring the hips down into the mat come back into the center now it's your choice for the few more uh, stretches here left to do we just bend the knees into the chest extend your legs up pointing the toes all the way up to the sky bend the knees and move into a happy baby to finish the class so lengthening the spine lengthening the neck extend your arms finding outside of your sole of your feet and nothing says to Visualize your tailbones and bring your tailbones back into the mat. Spend here a few more breathing. And when you're ready, you can bend the knees, bring the head a little bit closer to your knees and just let it go maybe moving to one side maybe moving to another just let it go again here and if you want to settle now for the last part of our closing shavasana you can cover your eyes with a little towel place the hands on your hips and relax the toes to the side this time welcoming a deep relaxation into your body Just make your decision now to let go. Let go to your mind, your body. Stay present with each breathing in and breathe out. Relax your face, your shoulders, your arms, your upper body, lower body, feet and everything is now relaxed and surrendered into your mind. A beautiful place where you want to be and you can stay here as long as you like. If you're ready to come out, you bend your elbows, you extend your hands and bend your knees. Move the knees to one side, um, just take a moment, notice how you feel, and make gentle the way up into any sitting comfortable position. 
Lex Crossing, Leg Extension, everything here. Just thank you so much you join me for the practice today. I hope you stay inspired to take practice of yoga every day. See you next time. Namaste.